The giant death ray is still on. Hey, welcome back to Collector's Conquest. It's the last day at Spirit Halloween, closing for the season. Super sad time, but we're gonna go inside and see what kind of deals they have. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I'm gonna show you all the stuff I bought. All right, we're going in. Last time, 50% off everything. Super awesome. Oh, we're greeted by the ringmaster and Ghostface and Towering Tallulah. Super fun. Man, look at this. They've already taken down most of the fun house there. Still got the giant death ray up here. Pretty cool. We're gonna walk around, kind of see what they got left. Pretty awesome though. Oh, I wanna see if they have that. Art the Clown shirt, probably not in my size. I think I waited too long for that one. Definitely not seeing it, because I already have this one. I don't think I have a regular spirit though. I might need to pick that one up since there's no Art the Clown ones left. Some of the animatronics, they got Mr. Punchy left. A couple of those, I got the ghost face that's not the animatronic. Candelabra. Got a ringmaster and a couple of leather face. Those would be cool to get. Killer clowns inflatable. Got nozzles. Wow. Super cool. Crimson girl on the swing. Got some cool hang up things. Actually, most of their costumes and stuff are still on the shelf. So definitely some cool items still left at the half off sale. I noticed they have the Jason over here and then look at this. Still got tons of the Michael Myers stuff. Some Wednesday, some Beetlejuice. That would actually be pretty cool to get one of these. Well, almost like a PJ. Pretty fun. Let's see what kind of ghost face they have. Doesn't if the masks were over here, they are gone. But they got some merchandise still here. Got a terrifier hoodie. Looks like some universal monster stuff. Ooh, that would be awesome. Pretty cool costumes. Some Ghostbusters right here, including a beanie. Look at that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that one. The Ecto-1. It's pretty cool. These look new too for this year. Pretty awesome. Man, this still got a ton of stuff here. I'm not sure what I'm going to be getting today. Let's check out the masks. Be cool to have some masks to use in like videos and stuff. Oh, Creature. That's cool. Dang, that's still expensive half off. Look, got the little mask from Trick or Treat. Tuscan Raider, that would be cool. Got a little Jigsaw Billy the Puppet. Got a lot of masks still left over. Got Leatherface right there. Some creepy animals. Clowns. Got the Misfits back here. Look at that, they got a hard, I think it's hard. Oh yeah, that's an original Frankenstein hard mask. I need to check out the price on that. Man, this awesome Frankenstein mask is $24.99, so that's 12 bucks today, a little bit more than 12 bucks. I'm gonna hang on to that. Lots of cool stuff. The hitchhiking ghosts are down there. Another Billy the Puppet. There's the rubber mask of Frankenstein. I don't know. I like this one because I can hang it up on the wall or just display it and not have to wear it. We got Leatherface down here. Some Chucky masks. Pretty awesome. Here's a hard Chucky mask. Pretty fun, just to show the rest of the masks. 
Got a few more over here. Of course, they have them in the different sections, too. A lot of the Michael Myers masks were actually over there in the Halloween spot. Check it out. Still got a Crouchy and a Hugs and a Wacky Mole. I noticed they didn't have any of the Jack the Reaper. They had some, like, off-brand or Grim Reaper things over there, but not the official ones. Man, I need to find some kind of animatronic stuff here. I pretty much have most everything besides these costumes, but I don't really... I mean, I'll, I like the mask, though, but I don't really need that costume. Still got this scary guy here. Bunch of them. Those are... I think those were voted my most disgusting thing last year in one of my videos. Still got lots of cool decorations. The guy with the hook eye. Lots of, I got the cat last year. I don't have this one, but this one's my favorite right here. Got a bunch of zombie babies left. Man, there is a lot of stuff left. So there's, something I really want and I'm not gonna show it until one of my videos coming up but I think they might have it here and it's not Chucky even though that would be awesome to get a Chucky doll man these were hard to get last year the Glenn doll pretty cool man I bet he doesn't work let's try him oh he works I may have to get him. That would be awesome. I wonder why he's the only one left. Still got a Pennywise whore baby. Pretty cool. So, oh, he's not the last one left. Oh my god, they actually still have a ghost face. I might need to get him. Does he work? Oh, yes. Wow, I didn't never see this one. I'm going to admit, I didn't go to Spirit a ton this year because I kind of overdid it last year and I wanted to not go in every day, but I, I haven't seen this thing yet. Pretty cool. Sounds like it's got some music. Got some bobbleheads and Funko Pops. Lots of Beetlejuice. Beetle guys. Pretty cool. Got the plush. The Lydia here. Pretty fun. Got those awesome Sam little figures, ceramic figures. Tons of signs. Look at this. I don't know if I'm getting signs, but got some cool. I really want this bobblehead with the mat, the hedge. I don't have that one. I got this one, I believe. Last year, maybe. But wow. Look, they got all the signs left. And I still haven't got that Camp Crystal May, uh, Crystal Lake. Oh, ho, ho. Overlook Hotel. That would be awesome to have. Man, too much stuff. Halloween. Friday the 13th vinyl. All this haunted mansion stuff. Dang, too much to choose from. Operation Nightmare. The giant death ray is still on. Heck yeah, we got a animatronic that's still alive. Pretty awesome. Got a bunch of the throws. Last year I got the one with all the animatronics on it. I don't think they put that one out again this year. Michael Myers slippers. Pretty awesome. Man, get some welcome mats. Doggy costumes. All kinds of stuff. 
I'm not going to show all the kids stuff, but you can pretty much see it. Still tons of stuff left. Some PJs. Let's go check out the Pops. The Stanleys right here. Actually, they only have like two Stanleys left. Or there's a few. Some more welcome mats. There's the Deadpool. The cups. Here's all the pops. Let's see what kind of bag clips. We got Beetlejuice. We got the Ghosties here. Killer Clowns. Nightmare. We got some zombie babies. Trick or Treat, Coraline, Universal Monsters, Haunted Mansion. We got some horror movies, some Hocus Pocus, Stitch. Super cool. And Wyatt just showed me Spring Trap. That's a scary Spring Trap. Got some cool magnets and stuff. Man. I might show you guys what I bought after the film. I'm going to actually have it in the uh, unboxing toy room so we can see it a little closer. But I'm just going to check out a few more of these bag clips. I bought a bunch of these last year and opened them in my Halloween videos if you saw those this year. But man, still can't find those animatronics bag clips for this year can't forget this side got the Ouija boards got Beetlejuice Wednesday scary I want to see what the Ouija that's just kind of plain see that one's at least got a logo or something on it <laughs> I was like is there Scooby Doo Ouija <laughs> it's Monopoly I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. They got these mini babies still. Two child's plays. And then they got these awesome handmade by robot micros. So those would be pretty cheap right now. Four bucks for those. And then they still got the Beetlejuice duck here, which people were really going after this guy. Pretty cool Beetlejuice little bobble over here that's a pretty weird looking Beetlejuice I haven't seen that version that drawing that creation of Beetlejuice that looks like that before some more handmade and I finally ordered the last animatronic statue that I needed I bought this one earlier this year but I got the little skelly bones on order, so I'll have all of those by the end of the season. Man, they had a bunch of cool stuff in there. I'm gonna actually head over to another one, see if they have anything different, and then we'll get to the unboxing of all the cool stuff I bought. All right, we're back at another Spirit Halloween. We're gonna go inside, see if they have anything different. So let's go check it out. All right, let's go inside this spirit. See if they got anything different. I'm not going to show everything because I showed most of it in the last one. But if there's anything new, I will show it. Let's check it out. Well, they got the Ringmaster. And they got Wanda Webworth right here. Pretty cool. Check her out. Oh, Wanda. I just found something I've been wanting for a couple of years. You'll have to wait till the end to see what it is. I'm so excited. I got the Leatherface Side Stepper. I actually bought that one last year, so I don't need to buy that one again. They got the Sam. Some cool Gizmo bobbleheads. Pretty cool stuff here. Some of the fun signs. Look at this. The Monster Book of Monsters, Harry Potter. And look at the side there. This is hilarious, but I was just about to say it sucks that all the Halloween masks are the trick or treat because they're so expensive. I mean, they're amazing looking, 
but they're all just super expensive like just the standard masks they're all like 60 bucks <laughs> but then I found this one here spirit Halloween just says mask and it's like a fake Michael Myers Halloween 2 mask that's hilarious it doesn't even have a price I'm guessing it's probably 15 20 bucks and then half but wow that's funny here's the animatronics and the inflatables we got max straw the black heart max straw again straw man nozzles and the ringmaster right there <gasps> they got a small it's not my size dang it what is this one come on small well we struck out on the art the clown shirt this year they may actually have one online or um, I might try again next year because it seems like they have you know the Sam they don't have the scream one but they might have that art the clown again there's a Glenn mask there like one of those hard masks where's his eyeball <laughs> pretty cool man this one has a lot of stuff in it too no scream masks here but they do have the devil mask version from dead by daylight found the uncle charlie one that is awesome it's another animatronic costume oh my god hawk to a spit on that thing they have a costume and a hat Wow, I didn't even know this existed. This one has the Jack the Reaper one here. So I pretty much found all of the animatronic costumes at both stores. Check this out. I was just checking out and I noticed on the back on the donation wall. Look at that. Collector's Conquest sticker. That's pretty funny. So throughout the season when I came in here a few times and when I went to other stores I made some special stickers for collectors conquest that had like a spider web design and the glitter and that's pretty funny they put one they found one in the store and put it up on the wall there behind the cash register but man I found some awesome stuff today I can't wait to show you guys in just a second so let's go check this stuff out all right, so let's check out all the cool stuff I got at Spirit Halloween on the final day. And I got pretty much most of the stuff that I wanted, even stuff that I've been wanting in previous years. So this was a good year, and I got some awesome stuff. Let's start out with that Frankenstein I said that I was going to get, and I did get it. Look at that. Frankenstein Trick or Treat. This is pretty much you know a real looking mask but it's a hard plastic so it doesn't look like the old ben cooper masks or anything it's a more lifelike representation but i like it because it's hard plastic you can either set it up on a wall as a display piece or even you know put it on your shelf and it looks super cool and you don't have to worry about it deteriorating over time because it's that hard plastic. So definitely excited to get that. Um, got the uh, Spirit shirt. I've actually never had this shirt before. So decided to get it. I, I have the Scream Ghost Face and I have the Sam Trick or Treat. And as you saw in the video, I wasn't able to find the Art the Clown, but I'm pretty sure I'll get it eventually, either online or it'll be in the stores next year. Alright, next up, you know I love these things. Got some more. This one's actually been out for, I don't know, maybe even five years, four years. But never got it till this year. Vintage clown doll. Of course.
course, he'll be in my talking doll collection that I show off eventually. But uh, this reminds me, you know, of uh, kid Michael Myers from Halloween. Uh, he has that clown mask on, so it's pretty cool. Got another one that's pretty similar to it. Always wanted this one also. And who knows, this may be the last year they put these out because they've been putting these out every year. But I got the Vintage Wolfman doll. Pretty cool. Vintage Wolfman doll. I got this Overlook Hotel sign here. You'll never want to leave a quiet and remote family getaway. So, of course, from The Shining. Um, my wife and I have actually been to the Stanley Hotel, which the movie was, or the book, was made after. He stayed in a room in the Stanley Hotel. So, pretty cool. And there's a little Easter egg on this. You can see Jack right here with his uh, axe. Pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I mean, honestly, I wish I could hang it up all year. I don't know if I'll get away with that. And also, I'm thinking about putting a coat on it and maybe putting it outside. I mean, if it's not in the weather range, I could. I don't even have to put a coat on it, but... If I put it like on a fence or something, I'm going to have to put some kind of sealant on it. Um, let me go get the other sign. It's huge, so give me one second. And after many years of having intentions on buying this sign during the sale, I finally bought it this year. Literally every year, I'm like, I got to get that. I got to get that. But I usually buy those uh, talking dolls instead. But I've caught up pretty much on the talking dolls. So I got the sign this year. And here it is. Boom. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. The Friday the 13th sign. And you can actually see this sign in the movie. So awesome. And it is huge. I don't know where I'm going to put it. But I am just super excited to actually have this sign. Amazing. All right, next up, we got the side steppers. This one's new this year. We got Michael Myers. <laughs> yeah. So, super cool. Got the Halloween 2 Michael Myers side stepper. I love these things. Since I can't get like full size animatronics, I have nowhere to put them, display them. These are just as cool to me because they're like mini size animatronics. And I mean, they are so cool. I have at least two other ones that come to mind i have a killer clown one probably spiky side stepper and i have the uh texas chainsaw leather face that i showed you in the video earlier but i got another one here and this one there's one that i didn't get this year that i really should have got it wasn't in the stores this uh on the last day but this one's up there, too, with ones that'll be pretty valuable someday. Got the ghost face. Super cool. It's got the bloody mask. Ghost face side stepper. So these, when they are go up on, like, retail or resale sites or amazon they actually go for a little bit of money so 
when these stopped coming out in the store, because this one was in the store last year and they brought it back. But once they discontinue these things, they are going to be worth a pretty penny. So don't sleep on stuff like this. Like people are always going to love ghost face and scream. So this one's definitely a must have. The one that I missed out on. And he goes for some money on resale sites is Chucky. Uh, he was in the stores, but on the final day, I didn't see him in both of the stores I went into. All right, so we'll get down to my last item. This is something that I've been looking for for probably the past three years. I passed. I passed up on it um, the year before that. I was like, man, I'm going to wait until the half-off sale. And I either didn't buy it at the half-off sale or they didn't have it. Because I know that year I bought a ton of um, these type of dolls but for the uh, uh, animatronics. But this has to do with the animatronics. Boom, little Skelly Bones plush. So cool. It's got a little hood there. Man, this is the one I've been missing. So I have this one, Crouchy, Night Harvester. I think that's the three that are out so far. Um, I don't know if I'm missing one. But um, I actually got another one of these type of dolls. That I'm not going to show you in this video because it's going to be in one of my upcoming um, collector, basically, showcases. Which will hit my members only section for a month. And then after a month, I'll put it up on the main feed. But you'll definitely want to join up on the channel membership. So you get to see those collections early. You don't have to wait. Um, man, I got a ton of cool stuff. I enjoyed Spirit Halloween this year. I actually took a big step back. So my normal routine at Spirit Halloween is go film everything. Like literally all the Scream items, all the Fright or Texas Chainsaw, all everything. And then put out videos like for people, if they're looking for Scream items or Scream costume, they can go on YouTube, look up Scream at uh, Hot or <laughs> Spirit Halloween and find my video and they can see all the Scream stuff. It took me so long and just I was at Spirit multiple times a week just filming all the time for hours. And it really didn't do as well last year. It did better the year before as for views and stuff. So I was like, I'm just going to chill out and enjoy my time and spirit instead of just making it work all the time. Um, and it really was cool. I watched other people go through Spirit Halloweens, which I love watching other people go through them. But as for me, I wasn't in there that much. Um, and it really made it better, I think. I had a lot of stuff to do this year, though, um, in October. We had the Wicked movie toys. Uh, Moana 2 came out. So I definitely had stuff to film. And I didn't have to rely on Spirit Halloween film uh, videos the whole time. So, I mean, that's just a little behind the scenes there. Uh, I wish I had some more of these. I know they have them on the website, but they're not on sale. I can only buy a few of them at a time if I don't get them on sale. So I might just start ordering them off of their website. These are the Series 3 animatronic bag clips. They were in the store like once, and then I never saw them again. They're super hard to get. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm 
got another channel called Collector's Conquest TV. And it's going to have marathons of all kinds of videos. Like, let's say Godzilla Day is coming up. It's going to have all my Godzilla content. Um, just streaming all day long on Godzilla Day or Spider-Man Day or whatever. So definitely check that out. I'll be hiding in the chat sometimes. So if you go in there and type something, um, I'll probably eventually get to it, maybe even immediately. So definitely come hang out at Collector's Conquest TV. That'll also be the only channel that I go live on besides Amusement Archive, but that's a totally different channel situation that's disney content um and theme parks but my own the i'm not going live on collector's conquest main channel anymore ever again <laughs> so definitely go subscribe to collector's conquest tv and i'll see you over there hang out um but this is collector's conquest hope you like the video I got a ton of them. Go to the playlist, check it out, find a franchise or subject you're into, have some fun watching some videos. Please like and subscribe. Also check out my channel membership. I send out an awesome swag item once a month, whether it be a postcard or a sticker. You also get a weekly members only exclusive video. You get early access to most of my videos and you also get your name listed on an awesome song just like this. Check out Mama Jay She's got so much stuff to say Unboxing crazy things But grow is what she brings Check out Mary Poppins Pop, let's trade on Shows all the phone calls on This three parts don't stand a chance Move with this one straight up no chance Check out Swap Cop Man Every new ninja turbo makes him a stack. Puppet master, you kill clowns. And made by robots, he's always hunting down. Check out Be My New Two Time. His superhero toys always win the battle. The DVDs and video games are so cool. If you're into awesome stuff, this guy rules. Check it out. Tell us a fun. Hey, it's Collector's Conquest. Have you ever wanted to help support the channel? Well, you can now. We have some new donation options. If you donate $5 or more, you'll get the exclusive 80s hologram sticker and the pretty dang cool pin. Check that thing out. That's pretty dang cool. And also, you'll get whatever free swag we already have. We got stickers. We got some buttons that you get when you win giveaways. All that just for five bucks. We'll send it out to you for free. Check the links below. We got a Venmo and Cash App only. And if you want to help out even more, consider donating $30 or more and you'll get this free Collector's Conquest t-shirt. We also have a couple other designs, so contact me on Instagram or email me to see those designs. But I appreciate everyone watching my videos. Uh, check the links below. 
and at the $30 t-shirt level you also get all that other swag in the $5 level 